Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the grid warp effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. But first of all, shout out to Jamie Fan because it was his idea, so don't forget to check out his channel. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve and I have cut out my clip on which I want to apply this effect. After I have cut out my clip, I just go into Fusion. And I press Shift and Spacebar at the same time and I search for Camera Tracker. Select Camera Tracker and press Add. Now I just tick these two boxes, the Preview Auto Track Locations box and the Bidirectional Tracking box. And this is very important to see the tracking dots. Then I press this Auto Track button. Now the movement of our camera is tracked as you can see right here. And I go to the Solve tab and I press the Solve button. Alright, now you can see we've got an average solve error of 1.8 pixels, which is not quite good. So you should try to lower this value to about 1 pixels or lower. And we can do this by going to the first frames. Then we zoom in by pressing Ctrl and by scrolling with the mouse wheel. And now I just select the red dots and I delete them because these are our errors. Okay, then I go some frames to the right. And again I delete the red dots. Then I just continue this procedure till the end of the video clip. Alright, so I think most of the red dots are eliminated. So I go to the tab Solve and I press the Solve button. So after a few adjustments I've got the average solve error value of 0.6147 pixels which is fine. Alright, so now the camera movement is being tracked very precisely. So I just go to the export page and I press this export button. So now a lot of nodes have been created. So I just disconnect this arrow. I delete the camera tracker and I connect the camera track renderer to the media out node. After that I just unselect these two nodes by pressing shift and the left mouse button and I just drag them right here. Then I drag and drop an image plane 3D node into the node field and I connect this image plane 3D node with the merge 3D node. So this image plane 3D node will be a placeholder for our ground crack texture. And now we just need to change the transform values of our image plane 3D node so that it fits the ground of our video. So I just go into the transform tab and I change the translation, rotation and scale values to my liking. Alright, so these are my values and I think the placeholder fits the ground of our video. Alright, so now we just need to find some ground crack footage. So you can find some free videos if you search for ground crack footage. So I just choose this video. Alright, so I just downloaded this video and I drag and drop it into Fusion. And I connect the Media in 2 node with the Image Plane 3D node. So now it should look like this and then go to the media and 2 node and press shift and space by the same time and search for delta key. Select delta key, press add and I just removed the green screen. And I don't know why this happens to me but it's just weird looking. So I just go to the delta key node and I press once on this transform node symbol and I change the position a little bit and now it looks normal but I don't know why this happens. Then again I select my media in 2 node and I press shift and spacebar and I search for time speed. So select time speed, press add and I want this animation a little bit slower. So as you can see right here it's really fast so I just decrease the speed of our time speed node to about 0.7 and I change the delay so that you can see our animation. So I just want to increase the size of this effect a little bit. So I go to my transform node and I increase the size. And then I want to change the position and rotation values of this animation. So I go to my image plane 3D node and I adjust these values. Okay, so now it looks like this and I'm fine with the animation. So it looks kind of good, I guess. But we've got one problem, so the animation is over our person and over the car, which doesn't look very good. So I go back into the edit page 
and I duplicate my clip by pressing Alt and the left mouse button at the same time. Then I go with the upper clip into Fusion and I delete like all of these nodes and I connect the media in one node with the media out node. Then I just go to my media in one node and I press shift and spacebar at the same time and I search for magic mask. Select magic mask and press edge and this magic mask is only available in the studio version so if you don't got the studio version then just watch this video to see how to rotoscope for free a person and a car. Okay, so now I just want to rotoscope my person and my car, so I just mask out these both. Then I change the mode from faster to better and I change the refine range to my liking. After I've done this, I just press this tracking button. So now it will track forwards and backwards. Okay, then I go to matte. And I increase the blur to about 0.1 or 0.2. Okay, then I go back into the edit page. And now the animation looks like this. So as you can see, the ground crack node is no longer over our person or over the car. So now the animation is already done, but if you want to level up your animation, then you can use some assets from the Warzone pack from aejuice.com. So I recommend to use the Planet Impact Dust Wave effect. So I just downloaded this video and I just drag it on top of my clip. I adjust the opacity to about 50 or 40 and now it looks like this. So this looks much more better in my opinion but if you don't want to use it then this is the effect i hope this video has helped you if so then leave a like or sub to my channel check the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions go watch one of these two videos to learn more about editing in davinci resolve and thanks for your attention stay creative and bye